Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on with my weekly budget with me. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, so I'm coming on to um, budget my Etsy income for this week, guys. And uh, no surprise, no surprise, this is about the same as normal. So I normally pay myself about $500 per week from Etsy. So again, thank you for your continued support over on that platform, guys. So that means that you guys are being, you guys are satisfied with the products that are being offered, that you guys are loving to play the products because they're fun. <laughs> and also... Um, that the products are actually helping you save money and have fun, which is the overall um, um, goal of my channel to find uh, fun ways to save money. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. Can't have saving with Shalana without fun, guys. All right, so today's date is the 25th. All right, I'm filming this now, getting ready for my uh, bingo um, game tonight it's in, a, in about an hour or so. So I want to try to get this up. So I'm excited about bingo. So shout out to everybody that's coming to bingo tonight. All right. So um, let's go ahead and put my um, cash envelopes down. So like I said, if you're new here, I only budget my side hustle income, which is going to be my Etsy income or my YouTube check. Okay. Um, all of my bills are, are an auto draft for my main full-time job, so we don't discuss that on the channel, okay? So we can just cross this out, and I use this section here for my cash envelopes to show you my variable spending. So we put groceries here, which is $100, okay, that I budget for. I do go over my budget from time to time, and I just pull from the other envelopes in my wallet if need be, like my personal, for, for instance, okay? Gas. Um, what else? Household. Uh, personal, that's my envelope. Um, Jordan, that's my son. We have uh, miscellaneous and giving. Okay, so those are our envelopes. Hey, I forgot takeout, guys. Okay. So here we go. So groceries is $100 per week. Gas is $20 per week. Household 20. Um, I get 20. But like I said, lately, it's, I've just been adding it to the grocery budget. All right. Um, Jordan gets 20. Okay. So he can do what he pleases with his little money, like buy the snacks after school and stuff like that. Buy DoorDash. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Um, but he's a kid. So as long as he do his chores, he get his allowance. Okay. Uh, miscellaneous is $10 for those extra I's and N's. Giving $5 in case I see someone in need on the street while I'm driving. And then takeout is $25. Um, I don't usually, usually use all this, but like I said, this is reserved for Jordan and Kennedy now whenever she comes over. It kind of just kind of like rolls over whatever we have left. Like I said, right now I'm not eating takeout, so this is mainly for Jordan, okay? And so if we um, add those totals together, it should come up to $225. So we got our hundred, we got one, two, three, four, eighty for twenty. Okay. Ten, fifteen, and then another twenty-five. So that takes us to two twenty for our cash envelopes for the week. All right. And so what we would do then is take our five hundred minus the two twenty, and that's gonna leave us two hundred and eighty dollars for our savings challenges for this week. So I'm gonna put that down here in this box. Okay, usually I, I like to break my saving challenges up by day. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, my heat book is the first line item because I always want to play the books, games in my heat book. Okay, um, then we do Sunday, is which is saving with Shalonda Sunday games. Let me put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll put it like that for now. Okay, so the heat is $75. So we're doing a low budget, low income, so we can play more games. Um, saving with Shalonda Sunday um, gets $50. So that's the $20 for my interactive component because we're saving $1,040. Um, $20 every Sunday to um, save um, that amount emergency fund within a year. So through September. Okay. And then I have $30 where I play my other freebies uh, in the shop for bonus games. Okay. Monday, we're going to go ahead and stick with our self-care and our minis. 
we'll just leave it as it is. Cause I do have some rollover money still in my wallet for extra money that I need to spend within this week to play some extra games. So we'll just leave this at uh, 55. So 30 for the minis and 25 for self care. Okay. Tuesday is $2 Tuesday. And that's going to be $10. And like I said, that's the day I show you how to play games extreme, extremely low income. Okay. So with well, only $10 change, dime bets, and 25 cent bets. Okay. Wednesday is roll with it Wednesday. And that's when I play my DIY kits. All right. So I'm going to put 25 there. And then we'll see what we have left on Thursday. But I haven't planned uh, Destroy the Dead on Thursdays. Okay. So at least $30 there and whatever else is left over. Okay. So $75. 50. Okay, so that's 215. And so out of that 215 minus the 280, we got $65 here. Okay, so 30 is going to be for Destroy the Dead. And the other 35, I'm going to um, go ahead and roll that over. On Friday, I am playing my new mystery kit. Okay, so there will be an extra game night Friday night evening. Okay, so Friday mystery kit, and I'll take this money plus maybe some extra money for my um, envelope that I do have in my binder still from days where I haven't been able to do videos. I'm gonna do it there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna allocate forty to fifty dollars for the mystery kit. All right, to play on Friday, so you, you guys can see it in action because it's a marvelous kit, okay? <laughs> and it needs to be played, it needs some airtime for real, okay? <laughs> so, that is basically my budget for this week. So, let's go ahead and um, get our numbers out. So, uh, income for this week $500. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. Um, no bills on the channel, so we bring our $500 down here. Cash envelopes $220 as normal. So 500 minus 220, so that takes us to 280, okay? Then we have our saving challenges at 280, so 280 minus 280 is zero, okay? And then, like I said, the debt payments, no actual debt payment. They'll be happening at the, at the end of the month when I do my sinking funds closeout. All the money that we save during, throughout the month in savings challenges, we uh, redistribute it into our sinking funds, okay? So that is that. So let's go ahead and count the money and then we're going to stuff our wallet and play our coordinating um, cash envelope games in our heat book because that's what we like to have fun even with the budget with me, okay? <laughs> so 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 95, 500, okay? Let me get the money into the tray, and then we'll go ahead and get started with our uh, games, all right? Then I bring my heat book over, all right? Already got it opened up to our first game, which is our Got Gas game. And guys, when I um, designed this book, you know, I kind of really did think about uh, budget with me. So I, this, I used to hate filming this video, guys, okay? <laughs> I said, I need something to make. I need more. I need it to be fun. I don't like watching budget with me either, for the most part. But like I said, I need another element, okay? So I was like, I'm trying to make this fun. And that's what, where these games um, came from. And like I said, you can use these games as... Um, sinking fun games if you want to if you have like a gas sinking fun nail sinking fun stuff like that but i i play them when i'm stuffing my cash envelopes that way i get the most use out of my heat book okay so if you have my heat book and maybe you don't have you know an extra money to make these actual savings challenges but you can use it to stuff your cash wallet to make it fun because like i said the budgeting process even this is the most important process but it's the most boring guys okay like i said we can do saving challenges all day okay and we do, okay? <laughs> but um, like I said, the games are created to make this, make me want to do this process, okay? So we got $100 in for groceries. I'm going to come back to it. Let's, let's play this gas one out first real quick. Then we're going to play the grocery games, okay? So we got $20 that we need to cash to. And then we're going to play our coordinating got gas game. And for this, we need a eight-sided die. Hold on, y'all. Okay, and a colored die. All right, so 
we kind of running out of tanks, y'all, but we'll see what we got left. And I got the prop money on the side to show you how these games are actually played in case you, you know, want to play these <laughs> as real games. Okay, but like I said, I play them as cash envelope games to make the budget with me fun. Okay, so here we go. I got $20 that I got. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're going to play this money, okay, into this game. So here we go. Let's roll. Okay, we got purple number four. Oh, we got a purple four gas tank. We still got one open. All right, so that's going to be $4 of our money, of our 20. We're going to put that off to the side. Okay, let's go again. We got red number two. I think both of the red tanks are gone. Let's keep it on red and see can we roll for something else. We need a five and a six up here or six, seven, eight. So five through eight. Seven, Okay. We got the red seven here, so we can save seven dollars. Okay. So six and seven, cash stuff, and then we'll do our final roll, most likely. Let's see. Okay, we got any blue tanks left? Okay, we got five and six on the blue left. So let's do five and six. Let's see. There's a five. All right. Like I said, we finishing this up. Yeah, we almost done. All right. <laughs> so that's five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. And we only have, let's see, four dollars left. Do we have any four dollar gas tanks we can use up? Let's see. Okay, we got some fours left. So we got a purple, orange, and a yellow. So let's roll for a color for our last four dollars. Purple, yellow, or orange. purple okay so we'll take out this gas tank here and that'll be for four dollars okay so that is how you play the got gas uh savings challenge that's in my heat book okay so there we go so back to um, our grocery games like i said i've already put a hundred dollars in here so we're going to play the grocery games now so we're going to pull out our grocery list okay this is an add-on i made like for me and my eight ones guys okay <laughs> so you usually just use a piece of paper okay i might put it on this if you guys want it like, y'all let me know who y'all got my book if y'all want the grocery list i'll put it on this <laughs> so let's say y'all can get the digital download okay y'all let me know though all right so um Let's see. For this game, we're gonna, are we going to play Farmer's Market first, guys? All right. Farmer's Market. All right. So we need a 10-sided die. And we need a... We just need a 10-sided die. Okay. For this game, we're going to keep rolling and adding up our fruit. So we need our chips. Okay. And we're going to save these amounts based on what we roll. Once we roll a zero, we're done. And then we're going to add up our total and put it down in our grocery bag down here. Okay? So let's see what we get. We got a four, which is pineapple, one dollar. Two, grapefruit, 50 cent. Three, pear, 75 cent. Nine, bananas, 25 cent. Six is eggplant, 50 cent. Seven is squash, 75. Seven again, squash, 75. Okay, zero. So our turn is done. It's ended. So now we see how much we need to put into our grocery bag, what we're saving. Okay, $2, $3, $4, $4.50. Okay. So we'll put four fifty in our grocery bag here of our grocery budget. But like I said, you can use these games to save for like an actual grocery sinking fund, okay? But like I said, I'm just playing it to have fun with my budget with me, as I suggest that you should too, okay? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Let's play one more time, okay? We got a six, so six is eggplant, 50 cent. Two, grapefruit, 50 cent. Three, pear, 75. Eight, avocado, a dollar. Seven, squash, 75. Uh, one is a watermelon, 25. Two, grapefruit, 50. Okay, five is eggplant. I mean, radishes, 25 cents. 
Okay, there's our zero, so our game is ended. So let's count up the loot. Okay, we got $1, $2, $3, $4, $4.50 that time, okay? So there we go. So for both of those rounds, we say four fifty plus four fifty, so that's nine dollars. We're we'll writing on top of here, and then one hundred minus uh, our one hundred dollar grocery budget minus our produce nine dollars. We still have ninety one dollars to spend at the grocery store. Okay, we should at least get us two trips on the <laughs> for food. Okay, so let's go to the grocery store. Clear this up. All right. So let me open up this. Let me move my chips out the way for a second. Put my dice roller on top of here. Okay, so here we go. So we're at the grocery store. Okay, so we're going to roll for our um, food items. So we need a colored die and a 10-sided die. And that's going to tell us what item we're getting, okay, at the grocery store. Let me try to move it over so you can see better. Okay. So here we go. We got green... Number three, okay, green number three. So out three green, okay, then number three. And that is oatmeal, okay? So we got some oatmeal. And it was $3, okay? So that's our first item. So we get six items per grocery trip, okay? We got yellow number four, okay? We getting somewhere, y'all. So yellow, this is the, oh, yellow is the meat aisle, and then item number four. They like some bacon or something. Some bacon, okay. <laughs> For four dollars, all right. Let's go again. Okay, yellow number five. Okay, we got more meat. I think those are uh, maybe some pork steaks, okay. And that is worth what four or five dollars pork steaks. And then we got still three more ropes left. We doing good, yeah. Okay. Blue 10, so blue, and then item number 10 is strawberries, which are already taken, so we can't buy that item because it's not available. So we're gonna put a dash and say $5 for any unavailable item. All right, blue number one, carrots, another unavailable item, so we'll take $5 and dash it out there. And then our final item, all right, it's yellow, number five, which we already rolled. So that's another available item. So $15, we didn't even get to touch or spend, guys. So we're going to add these numbers up. So that's $20, $27. So that's um, the amount for our first grocery trip. We'll come over to our uh, shopping carts over here. We'll put $27 on the inside of one of the carts like that, okay? And that's how you, um, that's your first trip, okay? So like I said, we still got, we got $91, so we still got more to spend. So we're going to go again. But for our first trip, we got oatmeal. Bacon and pork steaks. Three items for $27, which ain't bad. Yes, okay. <laughs> purple 10. Okay, purple. I'll, item 10 is not available, so we dash it out. Okay, purple number one, unavailable. All right. Yellow number five, unavailable. We hungry, y'all. We ain't getting nothing this time. <laughs> Yellow number six, unavailable. Oh, yeah. Okay, green number two. All right, we got a can of beans, y'all. <laughs> beans. I thought we weren't going to get nothing, y'all. Nothing, all right? Let's see our last one. Here we go. We got blue number three. Broccoli is done, okay? So we spent $25, $27 that time as well. And we only got a can of beans, okay? So you see how inflated that grocery price is, guys? $27 for some beans, a can of beans at that, okay? <laughs> so we're going to put $27 in here. And then all you have to do is to end your game, you're going to add those numbers up. So 27 plus 27 is 54. So you do 91, your t amount left, minus 54. And 37 to put it in here to end your game okay or you can play again maybe okay but that is how you play the uh, grocery list game okay so that is that and then we'll move on to our next envelope category okay so let me go ahead and turn it over to the cleanup woman okay let me bring my wallet back over we need twenty dollars for this one All right, so this is a roll and save here. So we're going to roll and save, all right. So here we go. 
we got tw our twenty dollars again. Let me bring up my prop money. We got a toilet cleaner, which is a dollar. Five, one, two, three, four, five. We got floor cleaner, which is six. Two, four, six. Four, one, two, three, four. Another floor cleaner, which is six dollars. Two, four, five, six. And let's see what we got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven dollars left. Okay, three. One, two, three. Another floor cleaner. Goodness gracious. We're going to be cleaning floors all day, y'all. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one dollar left, so we're just going to take out another toilet bowl cleaner to end our game. All right? So there you go. So that's how you spend your $20 to reallocate it into your cleaning, the cleanup woman for your household supplies. Okay? Fun, fun, fun. Let's go on and move to our next um, game. All right, so our next envelope category is for me. So I get $20 personal spending. All right, so like I said, let's see. I'm gonna play, uh, let's let's start with Nailed It, okay? Even though y'all know I don't get my nails and stuff done because these are working hands, guys, okay? <laughs> so I'll be busy, okay? I, I, I can't have my nails slowing me down. I get them done every once in a while, but not regularly because I'll be working, okay? But we this is for you to say whether to get your nails done, okay? So we need a color dye. So you um, try to color these full sets in here and then down here, you, this is the money you leave for your nail tech, okay? So here we go. We got uh, red and uh, eyes, so we're going to color in one nail on the red hand, okay? Hopefully, I got all these colors up here, <laughs> I ain't checked. Let's see, a dollar. All right, let's go again. Okay, blue. We got uh, odd as well, so that's going to be another dollar. Or you can say whatever amount you want based on your budget, so you can on a um, nail on a blue hand, okay? We got orange. Even so, that's gonna be two dollars, and we're gonna color the nails orange. Let me look, yeah, and get my markers ready before I sat down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna color our mini color. Let's see, yeah, I don't see it up here. Yeah, hold on, I might be overlooking. All right, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna color them with this uh, for right now. I'm gonna fix it later with this dry erase. Okay, two of those. Let's go again. Okay, we got yellow even. Okay, so two on the yellow hand. Okay, red. Got. Okay, we got green to even. We'll color two here and you save even. Okay, so that's how it goes, guys. And just let's color on one, just one for the tip. Okay, and then go to another game. So green and a dollar for the tip. Okay. There you go. All right, so that's how you play Nailed It Full Set. And then I also want to go ahead and play. Um, I'm going to play, pot, I'm gonna play Pothead, okay, for my coffee addiction, okay. <laughs> let's, do, let's roll let's roll and save it out y'all okay for our coffee addiction all right we got one is odd so that's gonna be a dollar six is even two dollars odd a dollar odd a dollar okay even two dollars Add a dollar. Okay, we got two dollars left. Let's do this. Even. There we go. Last two dollars. Okay, so that is how you play uh, pot headed. Like I said, just an even eye game, guys. Okay. Perfect. All right. So back to our wallet. The next um, envelope is for Jordan, my son. So we're gonna put twenty dollars into his envelope because he stay begging, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I always need something to seem like. Okay. All right, so that's for him. And we're going to play his um, Zoo Pass game. 
in the book. And like I said, that game is used for um, like family fun and things like that. And then you're going to use the color die and the six-sided die to see where they line up at and save those amounts. Okay, so here we go. We got purple number two. So we'll cross out the number two zoo pass and purple for him. Yellow number six. Uh, that's six dollars right there. Okay, purple number two is already gone. Let's stay in purple and roll another one. Three. All right, three dollars. Let's go one more time. I'll just probably finish up here. Six purple. All right, so that's six. And we only have three dollars left for Mr. Jordan. So we'll do a three dollar and then any color we get for three dollars. Okay. So red. All right. So there we go. So that is how we decided to allocate Jordan twenty dollars today. Okay. And so that's done. Then our next game is our takeout game, and that's gonna get twenty-five. Takeout envelope, brother. Okay. And let's Turn to it. Let's see. This one is almost completed as well. So we only really have this table left in this one. We got a few seats. Let's, I'm gonna grab another five dollars as well. Let's see if we add these up. We got 10, 23. It's like 30 dollars, but we're gonna just finish it today, guys. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll. Let's see. Can we get an orange or purple? Let's see. Orange or purple. Purple. Okay, purple seat four. We only got seven on seat um, on the purple table, so we're gonna take out this seat, okay? So seven dollars, five, six, seven, and then let's finish up over here, guys. Okay, let's see what we can get. Okay. We just need orange. Let's just roll for our seats. I probably roll the eight side of that, guys. Anyway, <laughs> I'm turning up. Okay, one. Let's see, four. We got an eight. All right. Two, four, six, eight, eight dollars. All right. Two, two. And let's see what we got left, guys. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, we still got enough to get at least one of them seats. All right, here we go. Eight. We need seven or six. Six. Okay. Two, four, five, six. All right, so that is how you play that game, guys. We're just gonna clean this off. We only got one seat left, but like I said, the goal of this game is to, um, you know, save your save up for takeout and whatever table you finish. That's gonna be a suggested meal that you guys can have once all the seats are filled. Okay, and we got two dollars, so let's go ahead and just put this into our other uh, few games. We're gonna put it into the Sudoku, I think. Uh... No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play the Sudoku and stuff. That I'm gonna get. <laughs> Too far, I haven't put that in a cleaning game. Maybe I'll do a two dollar icon on there just to get rid of it. All right, we got five dollars for uh giving. We play these games every other week, okay? We play the either the grocery games or we play these two games, so we're alternating, okay? So ten dollars here for miscellaneous, and then like I said, we got two dollars left put into a challenge. We could just mark off a ticket on the zoo. And two dollar one here. Okay, so there we go, two dollars. And so we've allocated all of our um, money. So like I said, we'll take the remainder money that's in the cash ring, put this into our savings challenge binder. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 280. Going into our challenge binder for our games this week. All right, so be sure to, uh, Check your girl out this week. We're going to be having a lot of fun, okay? Make sure you definitely check me out some more to see that mystery kit reveal, all right? Two-part reveal, okay? So, it'll be like I said, it'll be two videos some more for the mystery kit. One at seven. The pr premiere is already up. Go ahead and set your notifications. And then the next one will drop at 8 a.m., I think, okay? So, an hour apart so you get time to watch the first one, all right? <laughs> so, watch the first one first and then watch the second add-on part, Okay. And watch my Saving Wish Alamba Sunday video, too. That's going to be up, okay? <laughs> but I'm done here. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, please uh, let me know what you thought about today's budget with me. Uh, be sure to uh, watch the ads that play directly after the video. And I'll see you in the next video. All right? Bye.